Hey there, golfers and golfettes. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf. And this week, I'm going to show you in a brief, really short video, the swing that I'm teaching you. So we sum up everything that I've taught you in the past lessons, put it all in one package, and I'm just going to talk to you about each little piece. And yes, this is the swing that you see on TV. I am not the inventor of said swing. I am just taking what the brilliant minds in golf have put together based on physics and geometry and repackaging it in a way that you can understand it, okay? So this isn't new. A lot of this is based on stack and tilt, which is based on physics and geometry, so it works, okay? It's not guessing. We're not guessing here. It happens. Things happen for a reason. If I do X, Y will happen. Simple. It's none of this guessing of, well, maybe you should lift it, maybe you should drop it, maybe you should shift it, maybe you should roll your hands. No. Things, when you do those things, they have a direct re reaction or opposite reaction in your golf swing, and it's catastrophic. Let's just get away, just do away with all that, okay? Hear me talk about the, the land flowing of milk and honey. This is how you get there. Spent 40 years in the golf swing desert, move over to land of milk and honey it's much better and greener grass on that side. Here is the swing you'll see a lot of tour pros doing, and I'm going to narrate it. It won't be too long of an episode. I get really fired up and excited because you guys are doing an excellent job learning, and I'm really happy for you that you've discovered something that gives you more hope in your golf game. And that's what we're about here. I'm helping you make the most out of the game you love. So, here's the golf swing. You'll see this a lot on almost every tour player. I'll do face on, down the line first and face on. So down the line, we've got the club shaft angle here. You're gonna see the club travel up that club shaft line to here in the takeaway. Club face is usually pointing down towards the ball, not open. They're not rolling their hands, okay? They're taking the club back together. It's turning of the shoulders, arms, hands, club face is angled down towards the ball as if I've got a medicine ball in my hands, this is what your hands actually look like. Okay, checkpoint one, that's the takeaway. Now from here, we go to the top. The lead shoulder continues its turn downward, 90 degrees to my spine, to this position. My hands are behind my right shoulder, my left, my lead arm right here, is matching the angle of my shoulder tilt down towards the ball. All right, how did I get to that position? Simple, gravity allowed it to happen. I didn't force the club there. The weight of the club and the takeaway is keeping the club here. Then as I go back, the right forearm begins to fold to 90 degree position. I call this my Bruce Lee karate chop position. So, from here to karate chop, my right arm's connected against my, my bicep, is it connected against my side with that Gorilla Glue. Don't put too much glue in there. I heard some of you ripped your bicep off your chest, it hurt. All right, at the top, the club face is square, or par the club face angle matches the lead arm. That tells you it's square. Good to know. All right, so that's the backswing. One little detail that I may have forgot to mention, I want you to know this. As I take the club back to the top, you might notice how my, my trail leg, the right leg, starts straightening. My lead leg is going down towards the ball. This is putting pressure on my lead side here. So I'm gaining pressure into here, and there's a little space formed between the two legs. This is telling me my hips are turning, I'm not restricting. Some guys will restrict on TV. I don't recommend it, it puts stress on your back. Most guys will have some pivot, all right, like that, you'll see that. Look, and, and look at some of the older swings. You don't see a whole lot of flexing of the knees in the older swings like Hogan, Sneed, Nicholas, you'll see this. They might talk about flexing the leg, but they're not really flexing the leg in the sense that they're like they're not really doing it, they feel it, but it's, this is still happening. Pay attention to what's happening, not what they're saying. All right, downswing. So I'm in this beautiful top backswing. Downswing, the club needs to return on this shaft line, the same line I took it back on. So the club's gotta go down this way into the ball, not over the top. 
and how do we get this to happen? Well, we're at the top. First thing that happens is I begin moving my hips and my, my right side begins tilting. Tilting or crunching this side, the right side. The lead left side puts about 80, 90% of my lead leg, of my weight. So the club's automatically in position. Just that one motion. I'll show you the face on, it'll make more sense. And from here, we're ready to deliver a power punch on the ball. So you take that right arm, you punch the golf ball. Then, after we hit, my arms are fully extended. I begin extending upward into my finish here, where my right arm is now matching my shoulder angle. It's not above and it's not below, it's on. So this is the swing you see on TV. Pay attention to those positions. The first position, look at the takeaway. Next position, lead arm matching the shoulder turn. Shoulder is down, not level, never level. They want a relationship to the ball, shoulders down. Downswing, they begin moving more weight forward. Club shaft is in position. Hitting the ball, they punch hard with the right arm, the trail arm. Their arms are fully extended after impact. They extend and turn to a finish. Face on, here's what's happening. Most of them start centered with their weight, if not slightly forward. So 55, 45, 60, 40, however you want to see it. Facing the target, away from the target. Target, away from the target. So, got some weight on my lead leg. As I take the club back, I'm doing that takeaway I talked about. I'm still centered over the ball. And some of them have their feet actually pointed, flared outward to accommodate more turning now. And it's body friendly. We want to do that. So I'm taking the club back. I'm still centered over the ball. By the time I get to the top, gravity and the folding of that right arm has caused my wrists to hinge fully. And then I've got about 60 to 70% of my weight on my left leg, but I'm still centered. So this is a power source from which you'll see this push off move right here. You know that? You see McElroy do this a lot. Boom. And that's that crunching right side move that I talk about. So I've loaded everything up here, weight here, downswing. I'm going to push into that lead side. My hips are going to move to the left toward the target six to nine inches. So my head is here, my hips are here. I've crunched my right side, my left side is straight. Notice how in the backswing, I go from a straight right side to all of a sudden crunching the right side, and now the left side is straight. And look what it does with my lag in the downswing here, a lot of stored power. My head is back, my head's not following my body, and I'm going to hit that ball. My arms aren't fully extended till after impact, so boom, and then after impact, my arms are fully extended, 90% of my weight is here, and my right foot is rolling inwards, it's not turning, okay? My first move at the top by downswing, weight's moving lateral, not turning, not turning, no, not turning, not turning. Top, hips move lateral, my belt, if anything, you can still see my belt moving laterally and not turning. So the turn will cause issues. We move lateral for almost all of the downswing here, and then we hit the ball, and to hit the ball, your body turns slightly, and then it turns after impact, okay? That's a big one. Everybody likes to turn at the top of the downswing. Stop it. It's not what they're doing. So we get to the top. I've got weight on the forward side. I move my weight more forward by crunching my right, into impact, my arms are extended after impact and straight, my right side still crunched and I'm extending upward, and now my arms are straight, or at least my right arm straight, my left arm slightly bent. That's the golf swing. Okay, now the rear view, really important, so you can see how everything's working with the spine and with where my weight's going. You're gonna see, this is what you see on TV, okay? so. I'm centered over the ball, and as I take the club back, the weight's staying on my lead side. I'm loading it up. 
I'm centered over the ball at the top, and then you see the left hip go toward the target and the right side crunch. And then we hit the ball, and I extend upward into a balanced finish. And you can really see how this left side goes out in front of my head, the top. I'm pushing off that lead side, crunching the right. My hips are out in front, and then I hit, and I extend upward. It's really a powerful move. You can create a lot of speed in this short swing, this body-friendly short swing. And that's just natural speed coming right out of the ground. Because this downswing is not using all the turning and we're not turning everything immediately, throwing away all our power. We're not turning. We are pushing off the ground, leveraging that as a power source, and throwing those arms hard through the ball. Hitting them at this moment from here to here. There's a lot of speed in that. And that's the swing I'm trying to teach you all. Taking you out of the golf swing desert. We spent 40 years in the desert. We're taking it out of the desert, moving to the land of milk and honey where the golf swing is much more fun. And that's the swing I'm teaching y'all because I want you to have the most fun with your golf game right now. Stop wallowing around trying to figure out on YouTube. It's all, it's all out there. If you look at the stack and tilt system, it's right there. Find an authorized instructor near you or just do the things I'm telling you to do in these videos. It's really based on the same system. It's the system that will take you from searching into just playing and having fun. Now, if you all want to learn exactly what I'm teaching you right here, head out to my website in the link below. And I've got a class in there for $10 a month. You can learn everything I'm teaching you here, and I'm going to add more to it. So there's going to be more videos added over time that you'll be able to continue learning. Videos on the short game, videos on putting, everything you need to know how to do in golf and based on this simple philosophy, simple, powerful information. I guarantee it will make you a much better golfer and it's proven to work. I teach some students outside of where I am located in Myrtle Beach. I teach them on the internet and it works. The information works. So we just put it to use and I'm giving you the opportunity to learn the same information in a very detailed format on how to do every single little move. And it also gives you feels and drills so you can implement the same swing that I'm using, which is the same swing. It's based on everything you see on TV. It's based on stack and tilt golf machine and things that work because they're based on physics and geometry. Thanks again for tuning in golfers and golfettes. And I look forward to seeing you in the classroom or also in the next episode. See you there on the range.